every organ like whatever uh, organ bank you you pick there is always a donor waiting list means somebody will have to lose something for this person's gain and uh, by bioprinting that stuff we can bridge that gap so this is something which is uh, uh, super exciting here uh, uh, we use some specialized inks uh, so here we mix cells also with them and we try to uh, create a uh, tissue from uh, top down upwards uh, we know like how uh, or what properties a liver would have or lung would have so we give them that certain property in our bioprinter scaffold and then we add the cells which would help uh, them grow to a plant So that's how it would go from a inanimate scaffold to a proper living, maybe beating heart. It's just about some uh, some uh, pre-human uh, trial tests which we have to do, and then it's ready to be uh, used on on a patient. For me, it is two organs. Uh, one is uh, the heart, and the other is brain. Because same choice. <laughs> uh, brain, uh, we are not there yet, understanding, deciphering the organ, how it works, and yeah. all. And uh, uh, with the neurodegenerative diseases, like many people undergoing that, and if we can uh, work in that direction to uh, alleviate their suffering, and also. with cardiovascular problems heart is one of the most important organs but it's not that simple because uh, it's it's like it's like the central organ to our existence so these two are the ones which are very uh, uh, tricky to bioprint and to uh, reengineer the implant fail like many a times the reason of uh, of an organ uh, a transplanted organ failure is this means uh, the body does not accept a new thing coming in into it so one, one of the responses which body gives is the body fluid flush it out so will uh, will our implant uh, be able to sustain that liquid pressure and still uh, remain there in addition to performing the role it, it is supposed to do so it may not be very long uh, when we see this actually being uh, put into a patient and they are getting their functionality back